Hello, my name is Jonas. This is in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple function by using C Sharp Console. To get started, we're going to go to File, New, Project. We're going to select C Sharp and then ConsoleApp.net Core. Click OK. Our project is ready. Now, within my class program, I'm going to create my function. And the function is going to be called Job Sound. I'm going to start with public void Job Sound. Open, close brackets, press enter, and then I'm going to put here the curly brackets. Within my curly brackets, I'm going to put my procedure. So I'm just going to put for my procedure, I'm going to create a sound. So console.bib, the first value is the frequency, followed by the length in milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is equals one second. So I've created my function jump sound. Now, within my static void, I need, let's keep it right here. I need to create a new instance of my program class. So I'm going to select, say, my program. So program play my sound is equals to new program open close bracket semicolon so in my statement I've created a new instance now of my class and I'm calling this class play my sound what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put here let's change that to three then I'm gonna say play sound I'm gonna copy this dot I'm gonna call my function jump sound open close brackets and call to my statement and I'm just gonna say console dot read line I'm gonna copy now these three lines and paste them further down so I'm just gonna put here two I'm going to paste it further down I'm just going to put here one right so this is how you create a function called jump sound within my static void main I've created a new instance of my class I call it play my sound so every time I call play my sound okay I'm talking about my class the dot followed by the function will trigger the function what is within my function so let's start try it so I'm just going to press play okay so I've got number three here if I press enter and if I press enter again as you can see I'm triggering my function so if I press enter again it closes so let's make something a bit more heavy and the reason why we use functions is so we can actually keep our code uh, nice and clean. So we can actually put, we can create a particular sound. Let's put here 100. So I've got 200, 300, and 100. Let's change the seconds to 500 there. So half a second. Let's put here just more the half a second, just less than a second. And I'm going to put here 900. Let's put here 700. Okay, so let's press play. And this is how simple it is to create functions by using C Sharp Console. Now, obviously, you can create a lot more complex functions, but that's the simple method of creating a function and how we call the functions by using C Sharp Console. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.